everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice back at it again with another match reaction. And remember guys, if you're new to the channel, please remember to subscribe, like and also remember to share as sharing is caring guys. Today we have Brighton 2, Manchester United 3. <laughs> guys, dramatic ending towards the 90th minute guys. Wow absolutely wow guys what an ending oh Vieira truly saved us our first three points of the season oh how we needed that guys what a game although I wasn't happy throughout the whole 90 minutes with the, the, the team performance especially with that defense with that dodgy leaky defense apart from that I'm happy We've got this three points. It was needed. It was much needed. And Bruno Fernandes saving us. Come of the hour. Come of the man. Thank you, Bruno. Woo, with that penalty. I don't care what you guys have to say. Bruno Fernandes, whatever. That's what we need right now. We need Bruno Fernandes. He's doing things for us. I don't care if you want to mock him. Penchester United. I needed that three points. We needed that three points, guys. And we've got that. Thank you very much, VAR. We needed you. If VAR United out here, Manchester United, VAR United, you have out here entertaining, flirting with it, flirting with it today. Saved us twice. We needed that. Thank God we can just go on to the next week and just enjoy it. But let's go straight into that match, guys. Oh, you guys, in the first 10 minutes, you know we started off very sloppy. Absolutely appalling with Manchester United with that defence of us. Oh, we need to invest, guys. It's, 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 just, it's just evidence. It's evident that we need to invest. Harry Maguire and Victor Lindelof, Vindelof, whatever you are, it doesn't work. Clearly doesn't work. We need pace in that defence, guys. And if the ball cannot see that... They definitely need a slap in the face. And my God, Bruno Fernandes, you redeemed your name because you conceded a penalty. You cost us for us to concede a penalty with Mope cheekily doing a penanka. Absolutely disgracing David De Gea. David De Gea probably was pissed. He was pissed. He was like, this dickhead, how dare he try and do that to me? And it absolutely worked. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, but it was a wonderful goal by Brighton to make it 1-0. And then we get a set piece, a free kick. Bruno Fernandes, brilliant delivery with everyone scrapping for the ball. With Matic doing absolutely well to knock the ball back in for Harry Maguire to tap in. Coming off, Lewis Donk, end up with Lewis Donk um, scoring an own goal, which allowed us back in the game. But still, during that during that time, we was not at our best. We were sloppy. Defensively, again, we were just sloppy in the midfield. We was losing battles. We probably didn't have the best, best game today. Even Bruno Fernandes never had the best game today. A couple of players never had the best game today. But apart from that, we just moved on, continued going. And then they ended up half time. It was 1-1. And boy, oh boy, that early start to the second half. It was a couple of madness, guys. Couple of madness with VAR. Pogba conceding a penalty again. Conceding a penalty for yet to VAR to save us and say, nah, bro, we're not going to have it for you, guys. Me and you, Manchester United, VAR United, we're out here. We're flirting right now. So we're going to save you right now. And yet, that's what it did. It saved us. It saved us. It would have disallowed a penalty. But of course, it wasn't a penalty. That douchebag that tried to get in front and tried to win that penalty against Pogba, ah, he failed. He absolutely failed. But yeah, we move on. Marcus Rashford himself had a goal disallowed by, by being offside. But yeah, VAR also saved Brian. That's what's so eventful in that first 10 minutes in the second half. And Marcus Rashford wonderful goal wonderful goal by Marcus Rashford and I think he's probably slightly getting his confidence up getting that ball on the wing cutting inside cutting Ben White twice making him eat grass twice you know he was like nah the first time wasn't enough but you, you best eat that grass twice my brother Ben White was like yep yeah, I'm eating that grass and then absolutely slotting that ball in nicely into the top corner what a goal by Marcus Rashford 
But apart from that, his whole entire game was absolutely trash. But a couple of mistakes in terms of making decisions. But apart from that, with that goal, he put us into the lead, making it 2-1. And as we was 2-1 up, I can see Ed Woodward in the stand wearing a... Do you know what really pissed me off? He was wearing a mask here. Yeah? He was wearing a mask with Manchester United logo. I was absolutely vexed because it said a lot to me. I was like, Brickman, take that take that mask off with the Manchester United logo. Look how you're spreading your coronavirus breath on our crest. No wonder why our, cr our, our club is being damaged. My man's putting his coronavirus breath on our crest, bruv. And you know wonder why this club is being destroyed with his coronavirus breath. Take that off and put a Manchester United jacket on with, with the crest on your chest. Then that way we can slightly believe you that you you care. But we all know at the end of the day you don't care, Ed Woodward. What, what a dickhead. How dare you. Take that mask off. Don't, don't ever do that. In fact, when you're at the stadium, you don't wear a mask. You don't deserve to wear a mask. And then, guys, in, in the 90th minute, that's when it got really mad. It got epic. Dramatic ending. Dramatic ending. Yet again, a defence. Letting us down. Even though we had Eric Bailly, we had three at the back, guys. Three at the back. And yet, we couldn't stop Brighton from equalising. Brighton equalised it. Made it 2-2. And then, in the last couple of dying seconds of that, that fifth minute added on, Harry Maguire has it on. More pay, handballs the ball, handballs the ball. And of course, by that time, the full time whistle has blown. But yet, yeah, VAR came into the decision and said, no, 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 it's a penalty. More pay, handball the penalty. And then, yes, our guy Bruno Fernandes rectifying himself for that penalty that he conceded, making it 3 2. Full time, gaining us three points. We win, we win. Although I'm happy that we've got this three points. I'm absolutely fuming of the whole performance. It was garbage. Vindelof and Maguire, you men are rubbish. It doesn't work, guys. That defense doesn't work. They're, they're rubbish. Rubbish, especially Lindelof. Shit, he's shit. That, that, there was times he let um, uh, the opposition attack just take shots. Just make him shoot, take shots. Inviting them. Disappointing. Ah. Oh. But yeah, guys, I'm glad that we've won. We've won. We can move on to the next week. We just need another three points, you know, so we can move up to the table. But I'm glad. I'm I'm, I'm quite pleased with that. But apart from that, a lot of work is needed. We definitely need to invest. We definitely need to invest because we can't continue like that. And our coaching needs to get better. It needs to get better. We can't construct play. We cannot construct play. Coaching needs to improve. My man of the match today... Got to be Nemanja Matic. Absolutely instrumental in this in this game today. Very vital. You can see that defensively he was helping out the defence because those two mop heads, those beavers and butt heads, those two at the back, you know, the Chuckle Brothers, to me, to you, to me, to you, whoa, 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 dropping the balls and everything and then dropping on the floor. Lindelof, absolutely clown, absolute clown. Maguire as well, slow. Slower as oh, oh my god, even a turtle can just walk past you, man, or and beat you. But at the end of the day, yeah, I'm gonna have to give to the man of the absolutely instrumental. I mean, he was vital to us in this win. And uh, my donkey of the match got to be the whole entire defense, those just because of those beavers and butthead, those two, Maguire and Lindelof, let us down. Those two let us down, especially Lindelof. And I just want Eric Bailly to come in or buy a defender with pace. You have to. But definitely the defence is a donkey of the match. And let's go straight into the player rating. David De Gea, it was just, it was just unfortunate for him today to concede two goals. But I have to give him a six. I have to give him a six. And then right back, you know what? You know what, yeah, there's, there's, there's good things about... Um, spider one Defensively he's great Going forward trash But he can get some assists But he needs to be improved And that can only happen in training If you have a good coach But that I can't blame him So today I'm going to have to give him assists too And those two Chuckle Brothers Beavis and Butthead Rubbish partnership That needs to change Those two I'm going to give them a fire today Because they were crap They were crap 
and we have Luke Shaw today. Today he was on Shaw, Luke on Shaw today, bruv. You, I have to give you a fact there. You wasn't that great with your decision making going forward. You get forward that time, but your decision making is rubbish and crap. You switch off. Your light switches off as soon as you get the ball in the final third. It's all, it's all bright. Where as soon as you burst in, as soon as you touch that ball and it's come to do something, it just switches off. It flicks off. Boom. You and Mark Strashton are related because you both are like that, especially up there in the brain. But then we have in midfield, my man in the match, Matic. I'm going to have to give him a 7 today. He was good today. Pogba, another game where he was not at his best. Hopefully he can improve. 6. Straight up 6. And then of course on the wing, Mason Greenwood. Ineffective today. I've got to say. So him as well, I'm going to give him a 6 as well. Bruno Fernandes conceded penalty. He was poor, giving the ball away as well. Him as well, a 6 as well, I'm going to have to give him today. Marcus Rashford, even though you scored a goal, six. Marshall didn't do much. Didn't do much today. And I'm just sad. I just don't want people to, people to be onto him again, you know? Those haters. But he has to get six today. And then manager rating, only six. You have this, some, your substitution, the last one bringing Donny Van the Big a bit too late. Could have been a bit earlier. Maybe he could have saved us and we probably, probably would have won and scored it. Scored a goal earlier before the 90 minutes before we conceded that goal, it would have done difference. But yeah, as well, you're still learning the PE teacher as well, trying to get his um college degrees, MVQ or his what's it called, BTEC National Diploma in Sports up, you know, because he ain't at that. You wait for a coach and that's I don't believe he has that. I don't believe it. I, I need to see it, brother. I need to see it, bro. Send it to me, bro. Cat, holler at me and then send me the certificate. Take a picture, Snapchat me, bro. Snapchat me. But yeah, guys, remember to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. Remember to follow the socials as well. Red United TV, one baby as well. We're on, that, we're on a road to that 4K and trying to get that 1K on this channel as well. And remember to share, guys. Share. Sharing is caring. You hear me? I am out of here. On to the next match. Peace out.